So over 10 years ago, I first had my exploration with crystal meth, ice, methamphetamines. And for the first time in my life, I felt this energy in my body and this vitality and this togetherness. It was like all of a sudden, everything in my body was working the way it should. That was how it felt to me. Like I felt superhuman, yet it wasn't really superhuman. It was more like, this is the way it should be kind of feeling. And that experience just blew my world open and changed my life. Now I had explored with meth for on and off for a number of years and I right away realized that it wasn't a solution for me because of the side effects of it. But it opened up a doorway to searching this world for what is that? What's going on? And how is it that that drug allows me to connect with more of myself? Like what is going on? And it was only recently while actually studying neuroscience uh, where I bumped into this thing called amino acid therapy that actually gave me the answer I was looking for and gave me for the first time in my life a, a tool that I could use to not only step into those energies in a way that doesn't have a side effect and doesn't have a come down and doesn't have a crash and doesn't have all that other stupid stuff. But it also resets my body and kind of undoes some of the damage that I did over my drug years and resets some of the neurological things that were never totally right in my body. Like my whole life I had low energy. My whole life I'd watch people out playing or running or exercising, doing sports. I, I couldn't imagine doing that. I had a fairly sedentary lifestyle and I still didn't have enough energy to get through most days. Some days, yeah, I was fine. Uh, but for the most part, even when I was young, I felt like I just didn't have a lot of energy. And my crystal meth exploration was the very first time that I actually felt energy in my body, like powerful energy and like me at a big level and at a potency that I didn't even know existed before. And as I, in more recent years, began researching about how do I get back to that without using that drug or drugs that are similar to that, like caffeine works, but then it has a crash and has a come down. It's like I can use many other things, but they have these side effects. And as I was digging in research around neurochemistry, I found that the way your, your, your brain works is it has neurons, it's made up of neurons, cells, that are connected together and they communicate with each other using something called neurotransmitters. And if you don't have enough neurotransmitters in your body or enough of the substance that feeds the neurotransmitters, the cells can't communicate effectively. So what happens is you have uh, this, this impulse that goes out of like, okay, let's go do something. And all your circuits kind of activate and turn on and boom, you have energy. When you don't have enough of those neurotransmitters active, what happens is your, that message goes out, but most of the cells don't hear it. It doesn't communicate, it doesn't connect. And so only a small portion of that, of your natural energy capacity becomes activated. When I, when I would use math, it would light up all my circuits because what it was doing in part is connecting all of the neurons together. It was lighting up full on all the neurotransmitters. And so everything was working at maximum capacity, which wasn't necessarily sustainable, but it showed me what was really possible. So after studying around neuroscience, I found that there are actually two amino acids that you could buy in your local health food store that actually are the closest thing I've ever seen to taking meth. Uh, what they do 
is they actually build or reconnect or provide your body with everything it requires to get your neurotransmitters functioning optimally again. It gives the food required in, in a targeted amount to actually connect all the circuits and all of a sudden you just naturally have reconnection to all of your energy again. So L-tyrosine and L-phenylthalanine are the two substances that are, they're natural, they're in your food, but what happens is your body either does not process it ideally or it doesn't um, use enough of it in the right way. And by taking these, not only does it here and now, like it works quick, five, 10 minutes, like bam, you're energized. And you feel this fullness of energy in your body and you can function, you can exercise, you can actually get work done. Yeah, I was like, woo, this is so cool. And the second thing that it does is over time, and it takes three, eight, 12 months, it will, taking it every day, usually three times a day, it will reset your neurotransmitter levels. Like your body begins to recognize, oh, that's the level you want. Like when I first started taking uh, these two, I was taking a smaller dosage, and it was like there was this low ceiling that I was used to, like that was normal. And after a while, being at that level, I just felt like there's more possible and I increased my dose like 20 milligrams, a tiny amount. And all of a sudden, whew, I had big energy, I had full energy. I had gotten so used to having a low level of energy that I, I didn't even know what my normal was. And as I've been doing these for an extended period of time, I'm on month five or six, something like that. Um, if on days where I forget to take it, sometimes I'll start off and I don't necessarily take it right away. I have, my energy levels are now naturally at least double of what they used to be. It, it resets your body. It, it tells your body, this is the, the new level of energy that we're going to function at from now on. And after using it day after day, and it's very inexpensive to use, so it's like not a big deal, your body recalibrates itself and that becomes your new normal, and after a while, you shouldn't need the amino acids anymore. But even if you do, like, which most people don't, but it, the difference with having these and not is like the difference of being on methamphetamines and not being on it. Like, it's dramatic. So if, if you're in the process of trying to wean yourself off, or looking for another substitute, or you've stopped and you've always been still longing for that, these two substances are a great way to begin to not only repair your system, but also give you that feeling of energy and not have a crash. Now, the only downside is at the end of your day, when you try to go to bed, uh, you may feel a little energized, so you want to stop at about 4 p.m., 5 p.m., and let your body begin to wind down. Um, if you find you're, st you may still find in the beginning that you're still a little energized. Your body's like, "Wow, this is so cool." Um, you may need to buy a little bit of melatonin and take that at night to help you to get to sleep until you get used to your higher energy levels, um, because you know what it's like trying to sleep with higher energy levels. <laughs> I don't have to explain that. Um, so a, a little bit of melatonin, if you're gonna ex when you begin to experiment with these, uh, is really good to have handy for when it's time to go to bed. I've done another video uh, where I've gone a little slower and I've gone in depth into this and explained on the dosing. You can't take the dose that they give you on here. If you take too much of this, you get sleepy and you get drugged and it's, no, you got to find your optimal dose. And so I have another video that I'll link to this that shows you or explains more in depth and how do you find your ideal dose. Your dose, when you find your specific dose, bam, that's what you want. If you have too little, ugh, you know that one. If you have too much, you can't function and you start to get sleepy and you get side effects and it doesn't feel good. So you want to find that optimal dose and I'll show you how to do that. But um, really, give it a try. <laughs> this will change your world. It really will.